Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I get so many requests from you guys to do the videos where I talk about products that are launching that I really want to buy and products I don't want to buy. And there are so many new products, new releases out there. It's like an ocean and you are there in the water, in the middle of it and don't know how to get out of it. Uh, but I actually first thought that I want to do the video where where I talk about buy or buy products. The products where I, uh, in a video where I'm going to talk about the products I want to buy and products I don't want to buy. But myself, I myself don't watch those videos a lot. I like to watch the videos where people talk about the products that they don't want to buy and then watch videos if I'm just interested to see the product they do want to buy because I like to see the reasons behind the decision to buy or not to buy the products. But the video where they talk about both buy and not buy, it's nothing really, it's not that kind of videos that I really want to see. Uh, that is why in this video I'm going to talk about only the products that are launch, launching a new product that I don't want to buy. So if you're interested, if you're interested and want me to talk about buy products and not buy products in the same video, let me know down below. But I'm going to do this first video like this and in the comments down below, please comment, tell me what do you think about this kind of videos, what do you like to see, do you want to see videos where I talk about products I want to buy or products I don't want to buy like this video or you, if you want me to put those two together in one video. Long intro, but we are here. Please, if you're interested to see product, uh, see and hear what I think about the new launches. No. If you're interested to see what kind of new products I don't want to buy, then please keep on watching. So this video is going to be all about palettes. I know. It's because I am obsessed with palettes. I love palettes and I buy palettes. Many. But here are some that kind of didn't inspire me, that made me think, really, why? And so all of these pictures are from trend mode, uh, trend mode. I'm going to put the link down below, but I just got them there because she, they are, that site on Instagram is best with uploading new releases and what's coming out. So the first product I'm going to talk about, the first product I'm not going to buy is these they are already launched ColourPop's eyeshadows so ColourPop just released their new palette the blue palette with nine uh, shadows they're a matte and shimmery finish and it's going and it's about twelve dollars it's not expensive it's very nice palette but uh, to me i just bought the blue blood palette from Jeff Jeffree Star and it contains a lot of blue eyeshadow palettes. I know these are not exactly the same shades, they're different, but it's nothing that inspires me. When I saw that blue blood palette, immediately I could create so many makeup looks when I just saw that eyeshadow palette. I wanted it. And this eyeshadow palette doesn't speak to me. I have to be honest, it, it really doesn't interest me in that way that I really want to buy it. I love Colourpop eyeshadows. I own a couple of their palettes. I really think they're beautiful, very nice formula. So if you're into these shades and you don't own blood sugar palette, you don't want to support Jeffree Star or you don't want to buy that more expensive palette, this one is definitely an option because I heard people really liking this formula and liking these palettes. They also released the red one or pinkish red one. Not interested in that one either because I already have the blue blood palette. It's not the shades I wear all the time, the reds and the blues. So um, that's the, and I already own those palettes. So that's the reason I'm not going to buy these. I don't say they're bad. It's just something that I don't really need in my collection, a huge one. And um, it doesn't really inspire me. Swatches look beautiful. It's definitely a nice palette, but I don't see many creating many different makeup looks. Um, so that is why I'm not really interested. When I watch this, I have to say, guys, when I watch these kind of videos where people talk about the product they don't want to buy, I don't always agree. There are some 
product that I really think, oh, I don't agree with you. I really want that product. But if you feel like that, please let me know down below. This is only my opinion. Uh, this is only my thoughts. I would like to hear what you think, but don't jump on me. I just want to say why I won't buy these products. Uh, and I'm a really a big makeup lover. Uh, if you're not subscribed, you already know that I really love Anastasia's palettes. I own own all of them. The Subculture, uh, Prism palette, Soft Glam palette, all of them. But this new palette is collab with um, Alisa, Alisa Edwards, I think I pronounced that right. And it's a very nice palette. You can see it here. It's a very nice palette. But, maybe I should stand like this so you can see better. But guys, I I think it's a nice palette. Don't get me wrong. And first I thought, oh, I want, oh, I, I'm going to buy all of the Anastasia palettes that look like this because subculture or the other palette because I want them all in my collection. This one is the first one I feel like I don't want. Not, I don't know much about the list side, but it's not about that person at all. But it's just that this palette for me is all over the place. I'm looking at it and I don't get really inspired. There are some shades, bright, beautiful shades that I already own in different palettes. It kind of reminds me of the last palette, Rivier palette that they just released. I mean, there are blue, beautiful blue, purple shades, but it's... I don't know, there are too many different shades. And I feel like I'm not going to use this palette I already own bright eyeshadow palettes that I like and I feel like this is not something that I really need in my collection so I'm not going to get this one. It's $45, it's a limited edition, uh, it's just not a palette for me. I, f I think it's a beautiful palette but it's just not a palette that I'm going to use. I already have palettes that, are, that contains br bright pa shades like this and I don't always use these bright shades, so it's not something I want to spend my $45 on. So I feel like I need to be better or kind of calm down with eyeshadow palettes and other products and use what I have. And this is just something that doesn't really speak to me. And then I saw this palette. And immediately I thought, Too Faced, no, 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 no Too Faced, no. Why? Why this palette? I don't understand. I don't understand the small palettes at all. I'm not, it's not something that really, it's not something that I really want. I do, I just bought the Huda Beauty Neon palettes is because I love Huda Beauty's eyeshadows and I don't own any Neon's eyeshadows. And that's the smallest eyeshadows I want to own. This is just like they took some eyeshadows that are popular from their other palettes and put together a small one. They do this like all the time. I feel like Too Faced doesn't come up with something new, something interesting uh, lately. I like those Tutti Frutti. They look beautiful. They're just nothing special to me. Uh, this one is, it says shake your palm palm. And there is no color that really shows palms green. Uh, it's a boring palette. It's $25. $25 for this palette. It's too expensive. I don't want it. I'm not going to buy it. I like Too Faced. I like the eyeshadows. One, one of my favorite eyeshadow, eyeshadow palettes ever is the Peach palette. And I love that palette. But this one, no. No, waste of money, I'm not going to buy it. It's boring, it's very boring. I don't see myself using this all the time. If you don't have much makeup and you want something natural, I, I like to face eyeshadows. I mean, they're nice, but this is a boring palette and I don't want to put, get, I, I don't want to waste $25, I'm sorry. Then Dominic Cosmetics launched this palette. I love their formula. I love the eyeshadows. The berry eyeshadow palette is so. I have a whole whole video with uh, creating different makeup looks with that palette, and I really regret that I didn't buy the lemonade 
I think it's called that yellow last year limited edition eyeshadow palette. I really regret not buying that one because I wanted it, but I was too lazy buying it. So now it's gone. But this one, what is this? I mean, it's, it's so boring. And I'll be watched, looking at this picture and I can't see myself putting together a makeup look. Not one. Even less. I, I can't see... If the eyeshadow's all over the place. I feel like I can't create a full makeup look with it. I mean, it's, it's very boring. If you like these kind of shades and you think it's a beautiful palette, that's great. But I, I just feel like there, it's nothing special. It feels like this. Um, so many brands are releasing new palettes that are very popular. We need to put something together. So let's see it. what we can what can we create? Put together some eyeshadow. We can take this one and we can take a blue one. We can take a nude one. We can take a peach one. Um, pink and a black, of course. White and black needs to be there. And we created this boring eyeshadow palette. I like Dominique Cosmetics. I think their for formula is amazing. I love their their palettes but this one this one is I'm sorry but it's not for me I feel like this is yeah I don't know it's just like a last minute palette it needs to be out what can we do we create something like this I mean, it's, if you like it that's great I just feel like I don't want to spend my money I don't know how much it's going to cost uh, I think this palette is already out but I just feel like it's nothing that I need in my collection. So, Milani just came out with these palettes. They are $19.99. And it's called Gilded Noir Black Cover and Gilded Rouge. Guided? Guided? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to put all the information here. I mean, these palettes are beautiful. They look nice but they don't inspire me. I don't think I own any of Milani eyeshadows. I'm not really sure if I own any Milani eyeshadow palettes. I'm not really sure. I don't think so. Uh, their palettes don't inspire me. I mean, I don't feel like I can be creative with these eyeshadows. So these palettes are beautiful, but I just feel like we've seen it all before. We've seen all uh, blue shades, gold shades, dark purple shades, pink, peachy shades, blue shades. I mean, it's nothing new, nothing special, not, nothing exciting. I know, I mean, how many eyesh different eyeshadows uh, colors can you create? It's, everyone has, everything is almost done. But I just feel not inspired when I look at these eyeshadows. And for $19.99, I don't think I'm going to purchase them. I don't need them. And I feel like, I really want to try the formula. I want to try the eyeshadow. But these are not really something that speak to me. So if you are going to buy it and maybe you already have it, please let me know down below. Uh, but I just feel, I think they're boring. I'm sorry guys, I feel, I, I feel like I'm very negative in this video, but they're boring. For me, when I saw these pictures, I just felt like, okay, that's it. Boring, nothing new, nothing inspiring me, nothing I need. I'm not going to waste $20 on these palettes. Nope. No. I'm going to leave them for someone else to try them. Definitely watch reviews. I like watching reviews with palettes I don't want to buy and I don't think they're beautiful. I just like to see what people think about them. And if you're very interested to see what I think about them, let me know down below. Maybe I will get it for a review. And give it to someone but I just feel like I don't need these in my collection um, they don't inspire me inspiring me I love Milani cosmetics I like uh, their setting sprays I like their primer I own many of their lipsticks just I don't think I own any eyeshadow palettes because I don't I don't know when I look at them I'm not interested in buying them that's the only reason I never bought any of the eyeshadows uh, so I'm not going to buy these two. Maybe in the future when they release the palette that I'm going to be interested in. I don't know what that could be, but <laughs> so far none of these palettes really want me to rush over to buy them.
this palette, this is uh, what it's called, Glam Light eyeshadow palettes, pizza palettes. They're beautiful. They released it for a couple of months ago, a whole pizza palette, also a hamburger palette. It's new. These palettes also, sliced pizza. They're beautiful palettes. I saw YouTubers creating beautiful makeup looks with them. The pigmentation is amazing. They blend beautifully. But I am not interested in palettes that look like food. I don't know why that's not interesting or appealing to me. I feel like... I feel I, When I look at those palettes, I feel full. I feel like I don't want to eat. <laughs> I just feel like... I don't know, I just don't want any eyeshadow looks, uh, eyeshadow palette that look like food. It's not interesting or appealing to me. Um, opposite of that, just opposite of that. I, I'm not interested in these, the eyeshadows look beautiful. I would definitely buy it if it was in another different looking eyeshadow palette. But when it looks like food, I just look at it and feel full. My stomach feels full. No. Not for me. Please let me know down below if you try these palettes, some of the Glam Light palettes, if you think, they're, what do you think about them? But they just look bulky, big. I don't know. I love food, but I don't want to have my makeup looking like food. So, Lorac just released this palette and it's $29. It's a limited edition. I don't know what to say about this palette. This reminds me of that new Anastasia palette. It's all over the place. I don't know what makeup look I can create. It doesn't really look interesting to me. Um, it's not finished. I feel like there are... I don't know. I can't use this palette and create a full makeup look. I don't want to spend $29 for some eyeshadows and need to use other eyeshadow palettes to create a full makeup look. I just feel like it's not enough, it's not appealing to me. Uh, I do like Lorex eyeshadows. I'm very negative, but I don't like it. It's just... Feels like they, ju they just took some eyeshadows and put them together in a palette. That's all. Maybe it's a good if you don't only want to use one eyeshadow on your eyelid. For that reason, it would be good. But otherwise, I don't feel like I need it in my collection. Not for $29. And another palette that's very similar to this, that one, the last from Lorac, is this one. This one from NYX Cosmetics. This one is Collab. This is the Aquaria eyeshadow palette for $25. It's very similar to the last one, the last one from Lorac. Lorac. Um, doesn't have uh, as much of those, doesn't have a pink one, but doesn't have as much of those um, orangey shades, but it's, it gives me the similar feeling. I, I don't know what, what, what I'm going to create with this makeup, with this palette. I don't get creative. There are, I feel like there, are, there is not enough eyeshadows that work together beautifully. I don't feel like there is enough eyeshadows to create a full makeup look. Uh, I just feel like I, I'm not inspired. It, it looks so boring. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like there's so many other different, di so many different eyeshadow palettes that I can buy for twenty five dollars, which this that's how much this one costs. That I can create so many different makeup looks. This one, no, I mean twenty five dollars for this. I mean, I like NYX eyeshadows, uh, don't get me wrong. I just feel like I'm not inspired by these eyeshadows palettes. They are all the same. They are not... Uh, they just have a one or two pop-up colors. We can put a very nice neon yellow and neon blue, very nice baby blue, and a dark orange, and uh, that, can, uh, that can work together. For me, it doesn't work together. I don't know what I can create with this. And uh, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm just a very makeup lo a big makeup lover and eyeshadow palettes lover. This one is not coming into my collection, not ever, not even if it was for free, so I'm not going to buy this one. And then ha we have the Juvier's, Ju Juvier Place, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but 
Javier, Javier, don't mind that. You can hear my children talking. Um, this palette is beautiful. It's a very nice palette. But it's already something I have in my collection. I haven't tried their eyeshadows formula. Uh, let's see how much this will cost, this palette costs. I mean, it's a beautiful palette. I think it has a nice shade range. For, with this palette, I can see myself uh, creating a makeup look. I'm just looking to for the price. Limited edition summer collection. And it's $34 for these eyeshadow palettes. I feel like it's too much money. The, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I can see myself creating a makeup look, one or two, but I don't understand the green. I, I, why is there a green? I don't know. It feels like it's not supposed to be in this palette. I'm not going to buy it because I don't feel like there is enough eyeshadows uh, different eyeshadows that I can use to create different makeup looks. I feel like I'm going all going to be not as creative as I would like it to. Uh, the lip glosses look beautiful though. Those I'm very interested in. And the blushes. But not the eyeshadow palette. Not for $34. It's a little bit, it's called Tan Lines. And it's a nice summery palette but dark blue and green kind of looks so weird for me i mean like they are done not supposed to be there it's like they needed a pop of color and just put those two together over there the yellow one i feel it's nice and um, goes maybe with those uh, orangey peach shades but they i just don't know I just feel like no and I don't want to waste $34 on this palette so I'm not going to buy it but let me know down below if you did and what do you think about it maybe it's worth the money I maybe need to watch make different makeup looks but this palette it's not as boring as the other others but it's not enough it doesn't really make me want it when I saw the neons from Huda Beauty I didn't care about how the formula was if they are pigmented or not, I just needed those palettes. They spoke to me. The eyeshadows spoke to me. These are the eyeshadows. Don't really sp speak to me. They're nice. They're beautiful. It just uh, no, not for thirty-four dollars. The last palette I want to talk about it's this Nars face palette. I mean. It's a nice palette, but it feels like we've seen it before, especially from NARS. Um, for me, it feels like NARS is doing the same thing like Too Faced, putting together pa palettes that they already have in their collection. Uh, this, is our, this is their six bestseller shades. So it's a bestseller. So it's exactly what I thought when I saw this palette. Um, I don't know how much is going to be there. But I feel like it's maybe like a benefit, those, uh, what it's called, the face palette that I just bought from Benefit. I mean, some people thought they didn't want to buy them because they release similar shades, similar palettes every year. I didn't feel like that because I never bought any uh, face palette from Benefits, Benefit Cosmetics. I don't own any palettes from uh, NARS. And, and uh, but I feel like I, I, I don't need it. If I get it for free, I would use it, but I don't, don't feel like I don't want to, I don't feel like I'm going to waste enough money to buy this palette because there are some shades that I feel like I'm not going to be able to use on my skin tone. Uh, but yeah, I'm interested to watch a couple of reviews and maybe swatch it but I don't know how much use I will get from this palette and I feel like I need to be better um, about what I'm buying I feel like in the future the, for the rest of this year if I'm going to buy something I'm going to buy it because I feel like I don't have it in my collection I feel like I'm going to use it uh, I feel like I'm going to be creative and it's not going to see collection and just be there uh, just being there I want to 
palettes or products to have a purpose to be used. And I feel like brands are coming out with so many different palettes, with so many different products, lipst lipstick products, lipstick, glosses, powders, eyeshadow brushes, uh, eyeshadow palettes, blush palettes. They're beautiful, but do we really need them in our collection? I'll definitely buy some if, even if I don't need them, but I need to be better to look at the palette and really see, do I really need all of those eyeshadows and do I really have already them in my collection? Right now, I feel like my collection is full. I have maybe all of the shades I really need and want to play with. So that is why I'm not buying any of these different eyeshadow palettes. Um, I already have some that I didn't review, the new palette that I really want to review on my channel. There are some palettes that I'm curious to get, like that purple Morphe palette. That one looks beautiful, really beautiful. I'm very interested in that one. It's not available here in Sweden yet, but it's a very beautiful palette. And uh, there are some products that I'm very interested in. But right now, I feel like these products that I talked about, I don't want to be negative, but if you like them, that's amazing. If you th feel like they're worth the money, that's great. Please let me know th down below why do you think they're worth the money and how do you feel about them if you already have them. But I just feel like I don't need to waste money on those palettes where there is palettes and products that I feel are more interesting or more appealing to me. So guys, I hope you like this video. This is the first video that I do about talking about products I don't like. And I got inspired from other YouTubers and you really wanted to, me to talk about the products or palettes I don't want to buy. And I feel like maybe I should do a, a, another one where I talk about the products or palettes I really want to buy. I'm very interested in. So let me know down below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.